A casual look at this residence may end up just as one, but it may not be what it appears with the ambience behind the walls. <laughs> These cats and dogs call this place home. Our visit here is not much welcomed with these carnivorous animals barking at us as soon as we made our way inside the shelter. Here we are welcomed by Alex Ocheng, who is the general manager for this shelter, Uganda Society for Protection and Care for Animals, a profession he has practiced for the last 10 years. The time you want to approach the cat, uh, you, you normally do like this. And if you're coming near you, you know that cat is friendly. Mm. There are some which if you go like that, they run away or they want to scratch you. He has mastered the behavior of these tamed animals and he knows which one is friendly and which one is not. As such, he has established a connection with them. <coughs> this is a cattery that houses about 50 different species of cats and everyone that is here has its own story. As I told you, this guy uh, was not born like this without a tail. Mm. He got stuck on a reservoir in Kololo. Mm. Then someone called us. It was an evening, on evening of about around April, March, April. So that tail mm. was damaged completely. Mm. And so we end up to remove the tail mm. and we, we remain tailless like that. Just a few meters from here is a man's best friend, dogs. Well connected with the Cheng. So they... All animals kept here were rescued, others from streets while others from homes. And here, the newly rescued dogs are separated from the rest. This dog, for example, whose health is improving, was rescued as it was about to die. They call me all the time for rescue. And you know we are using fuel. Sometimes you don't have a fuel. And you want to run from here to Mpiji as I i just show you a boy which I rescued from Rumpiji. You bring them in with a lot of ticks, disease, and you must treat that before you mix them with others. Established in 1996, Uganda Society for Protection and Care for Animals is an organization that rescues and provides shelter for animals. There's someone who came in and found so many stray dogs. And they started like uh, fostering, then later on they start uh, a shelter, which is called Heaven, which now we are running. is about, we have uh, over 300 animals, dogs and cats inside here. Plus the, new, the new, new place also we have other dogs there. Since this is not a breeding area, these animals undergo through surgeries to prevent them from reproduction. So we are doing, we are rescue, then we are doing birth uh, control family planning in another way you can understand it which is spay spay is s p a y that is for female then uh, male is castration we do we remove the, uh, the ovary outside in uh, females to stop producing completely the way you see you already see uh, uh, the vet is doing that one in the clinic. Stephen Lukwago, a veterinary doctor, is conducting surgery that takes between 15 to 20 minutes. Stephen says the operation follows a procedure where a dog is first injected with the neutralizers to stop it from feeling pain. Itself is uh, safe and effective. It really works. This dog can never become pregnant again. It can never produce again after doing this operation today. Yeah, it can never. Because the organs uh, that actually make the, the babies are coming out today. Yeah. And later when the process is done, she is awake and aware of what has happened to her. Meanwhile, we are here up to the time of feeding. These animals are given food twice a day, but here, puppies eat different food. We just make a posho, it's just like human posho, the one we are using normal, huh? normally at home. Then we combine them with the fish and we cook them together, mix together. First we boil water, then we put posho and we mix with the fish. Just like any other organization, even this has its own challenges. Uh, just one sack is about uh, 100,000 100, uh, Uganda shillings, and that can take me only for two days. 
for all the dogs will take me for two days. So I'm buy in a, in a, in, a day, in a in a week I'm buying like about uh, 400 kilograms of posho. Sada Mubale, UBC News, Kampala.